Yo, thank you guys so much for watching that Mavic Air 2 cinematic. I had so much fun making it. There were a few features and modes that I really liked and that really pieced that video together and made it possible to even film. And I'm actually walking down some cliffs right now. Check this out. So I'm at Uluwatu's here in Indonesia. Got my Mavic Air 2 right here inside of this handy little case. The camera itself did come with about three extra batteries. So all of the footage that you just saw was taken in different areas, different environments, different temperatures, just to show you guys just how durable and powerful the Mavic Air 2 really is. I love taking it with me along my travels. You fit it into such a small and portable case. When you look at the Mavic Air 2, it really does fold up into a hand-sized piece. Something that I really loved about shooting with the Mavic Air 2 is its HDR mode, meaning that it would have high dynamic range, so it would try to expose everything in the front just as much as everything in the back just to properly expose your video or image. What really helped me in taking some of the smoother shots as well as where I was following the car or actively tracking it, I was using either the spotlight mode for the drone to go and rotate around me, or I was using the active track mode where I would just be following the car in a certain direction. I found these modes to be absolute game changers for me when using the Mavic Air 2. If you guys want one of the Mavic Air 2s for yourself, I'm gonna drop a link for that in the description. So feel free to check it out. Those are Amazon affiliate links, meaning that I would get a little commission on that sale, which would be Sick. Comment if you guys had any questions about my travels or the drone. We're gonna be putting out a lot of crazy footage during these next few months here in Bali. So definitely subscribe if you guys didn't want to miss a thing and I will see you in my next video. Peace.